Okay, we're going to continue our eye retouching. We're going to do right here on this layer that's called pupil. Click. And if you're just running this lesson without running the action previously, go back to the very first um, uh, lesson for retouching eyes. Uh, how to, so you know how to use the action that created all these layers for me. So I'm going to click on the pupil layer right here. I'm going to click on the little checkerboard part right here. That's the pixel part of the layer. That's what we want to work with. And I'm going to um, recreate her pupil. So I'm going to use the brush tool right here and set my foreground background colors that I'm painting with black because I want my pupil to be black. And if for some reason uh, you have a funny color selected, I showed you this before, and you have like red for the foreground, if you just click the letter D on your keyboard, that automatically makes your foreground color black. Okay, got my brush selected, and I'm just going to go up here to this little drop down. And actually, I have a very soft brush selected. I don't want my pupil to be um, soft. I want it to have a nice, very crisp edge to it. So I'm going to take this up to about 90% hardness. If you were doing the retouching, uh, if you were doing the retouching along with the action, uh, the action would have automatically gone and set the hardness for you so that you would have gotten a nice brush. So here we have a pupil over here below her eyebrow, which that doesn't look very natural. So <laughs> let me get rid of that. And I'm just going to put my my brush right over her natural pupil and I'm going to make my brush using my uh, uh, left and right bracket keys on my keyboard uh, right to the, uh, to the right of the letter P. I'm going to use my bracket keys to make my brush just a little bit bigger than her natural pupil because uh, it, you, a lot of times when you're doing beauty retouching uh, it really enhances the image if the pupil looks just a little bit larger than it did in reality. Okay, just going to stamp my brush right there. So I've just created a pupil uh, right above her uh, natural pupil. And uh, my pupil actually went over onto her eyelashes there a little bit. So I'm going to click on the mask part of this layer, on the, the mask part of the pupil layer, and I can just use the same brush, just make it quite a bit smaller. And I'm going to paint with black, change my foreground background color so I've got black in the foreground. And I'm just going to paint with black over that eyelash area that my pupil just stamped over. Okay, so now the pupil is where it belongs behind her eyelashes. Next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the the iris, the color of her eyes, uh, brighter. It just kind of make the colors uh, more vivid. So the next layer right above the pupil is the iris color boost or change. I'm going to click on that layer. And here I'll show you what this adjustment is again. Uh, in this case, I used a, a saturation, hue saturation layer, and I just boosted the saturation. Okay. Uh, Let's click on the mask part of this layer. Now, if I wanted to, and I'll go back here for a sec. If I wanted to change the color of her eye, this is where I would do it also, but I would do it by just changing the hue slider here. But we don't want to change the color, we just want to make her natural color more vivid. Okay, click on the mask part of the iris uh, color layer. And I'm going to be painting with white. Make sure my foreground background color is set to white. And I have the brush. I'm actually going to change the brush back down to a really nice soft brush. Just very, very soft, round brush. Okay. And I'm going to be painting right here, just over the iris of her eye. And there you go. You can see how it just makes the color much more vivid. Okay. Okay. So we've created a new pupil, and we've boosted the color of her iris. So the next thing we're going to do in the next lesson is we're going to make an iris ring and create a new catch light. And I will explain that in the next lesson.